After intense negotiations and much waiting came the joint declaration. The key sponsors of the talks in Astana, Russia, Iran and Turkey, agreed that there could be no military solution to the Syrian crisis. They agreed to set up a joint task force to monitor the ceasefire in Syria and also agreed on the need for a united front against Daesh and Jabhat Fatah Sham. When we came to Astana, <coughs> we, the UN, and I think everybody, and I'm sure all Syrians, did see that uh, our immediate priority was indeed to ensure the consolidation of the ceasefire. No other priority can be more important. If you put yourself in the place of the Syrians after five years of a conflict, they will tell you, please help us this time to have a ceasefire which works. Syrian people are definitely asking that. And they've been desperate in their need for ending this ongoing, brutal, and bloody conflict. Let me therefore commend Russia, Turkey, and Iran for their decision to establish a mechanism to observe and ensure full compliance with the ceasefire. But immediately after the talks ended, the Assad regime announced that it would continue to target some areas. So we are not fighting against a foreign nation. We are not launching a war against a neighbor. We are just trying to combat terrorists operating within our own borders, within our own territories, to protect our own population. This is a reality. So it is not about falling into the hands of the Syrian army. It's about freeing the main source of water, providing drinking water to 7 million people. The Syrian opposition agreed to negotiate further and participate in UN-brokered peace talks next month in Geneva, but they did put forward some demands. We affirm that our strategy is to reach a true and just political solution, build on UN resolutions 2254 and 2118, with the departure of Bashar Assad and the tyrannical government, and holding its components responsible for spilling the blood of the Syrian people. Some opposition members here say they welcome any move that helps the Syrian people. But they say if the situation on the ground deteriorates, then they will have no option but to continue the armed struggle. Hassan Abdullah, TRT World, Astana.